first on five. Some concerned citizens are asking the Mobile City Council to stop the comic cowboys from displaying what they feel are derogatory signs in this year's Mardi Gras parade. Now, this is a story that we've been following since last Mardi Gras when many people felt that these satirical cowboys had crossed the line with racist and offensive signs. The mayor resigned from the society. News 5's Ashley Knight was in the council meeting this morning. She joins us now live outside of Government Plaza. Ashley, were they able to reach any sort of agreement today? Well, Peter, that remains to be seen. This organization that calls themselves the Indivisible Party confronted council members here at Government Plaza saying these signs are just an embarrassment to the city of Mobile. They say the city has a moral and legal obligation to monitor whatever happens in these public spaces. That some of their messages were racially charged and had crossed the line of acceptability. David Smith addressed City Council Tuesday morning with at least 13 other people standing in solidarity with him. We'd like to see some um, um, responsibility in terms of, um, you know, what's said. We're not trying to impose on free speech, but we want things to be decent and in order. Last year, the Comic Cowboys made headlines with their signs poking fun at the Black Lives Matter movement. This one comparing Mobile County School Superintendent Martha peak to Hitler. The Comet Cowboy Society has been a regular on the Mobile Mardi Gras parade route for 130 years. Their motto is without malice. However, they've recently pressed more than a few buttons. And it also just doesn't line up with our One Mobile philosophy campaign initiative that the mayor is leading. Comet Cowboys responded to complaints last year saying, please rest assured in the future we will cease from comments which may be hurtful to our citizens. Our members respect the Mardi Gras viewers and our future parades will take everyone's feelings into consideration. The group that addressed the council this morning found an ordinance that is on the books in New Orleans that they say shows how that city deals with this same issue. We ask them to get with our attorney, share with them what New Orleans has done to see if so there is something that we want to do akin to whatever New Orleans is doing. I'm in. Now, Fred Richardson says it's too late to do anything about this year's parade. I spoke with other council members, and they say that a law or another ordinance is not what's needed to solve this issue. And uh, we'll be bringing you updates as this story continues to develop. Live in downtown Mobile, Ashley Knight, News 5.